Hi, Chuck here again, and today I have the FR Sky R9M transmitter and the R9 Slim receiver. Now, this is a system that operates on the 900 megahertz frequency, and FR Sky is touting 10 kilometers or above range. Now, that's pretty far. All I'm looking for is one to two kilometers of solid connection, and I'll be happy with that. So, it's a 16 channel setup with telemetry and four transmitter power levels. So you can select from 10 milliwatts, 100 milliwatts, 500 milliwatts, or 1000 milliwatts for this setup. So depending on the voltage that you're gonna to supply to the setup, it consumes different current um, draws. So I'll be going with an external power using the XT30 uh, socket. And this setup can take up to what they're saying 12 volts so I think what I'll have to do is uh, just run a 2S setup on this, but we'll see on that. Um, but external power is the way to go because at the higher voltages, it consumes less milliamps. And if you're gonna run off of the internal battery, you'll be drawing your battery down very quickly. So uh, just an example, um, if you're gonna run at 1000 milliwatts, you'll be drawing um, 300, to, I'm sorry, if you're gonna be running at 1000 milliwatts of transmitter power, you'll be consuming 350 uh, milliamps of um, of power from your internal battery. So I don't think that that's really going to be a good thing to do is to draw that amount of power from your internal internal battery. But down at the lower power levels, say at uh, 10 milliwatts, you're only going to be drawing about uh, 85 milliamps uh, from your internal battery. So initially, I'll just be running it off the internal battery. Um, and then I want to get that external power set up so I can go up to, go up to maybe you know 100 milliwatts um, or 500 milliwatts. So we'll just see what what um, power levels I need. But you can you know fortunately uh, tailor that within the um, setup of your Tyrannus. So let's see. A couple things is that um, make sure your Tyrannus is updated to OpenTX 2.2.1 or greater, and update the firmware on both the transmitter and the receiver. So I'm having a problem right now, so I wanna put these on the bench and and do a firmware upgrade on these and see if I can get them bound. All right, so let's take a closer look at the FR Sky R9M transmitter and the R9 Slim receiver. On the bench right now, I have my Martian 2 250 millimeter frame with uh, six inch props. I just switched out the R9 Slim uh, receiver and um, it previously was using the FR Sky XSR and was working great. I have this TPU 3D printed part that was on top and I ran the antennas out of the um, rear arms forward facing. Um, that setup seems to work for me pretty well. So I just uh, designed a new 3D printed part and also mounted the antennas um, in a 3D printed part as well. So this is uh, an antenna mount, keeps the antenna in T configuration, and it mounts to both the posts on the back of the frame as well as the uh, motor mounts on the rear motors. So this is a TPU, it's a hollow tube. Uh, the antenna um, goes um, either way on this. And uh, so it's a dipole. I'm keeping it in the uh, T configuration versus an L configuration. So I think you can do either way, but uh, I'll be running this first. But um, first things first is how do I get this bound up when it's not uh, working? So I'm gonna be doing a firmware upgrade on this uh, R9 Slim receiver and the R9M long range transmitter. So. I do have a few of these, so let me put the quad off to the side. And uh, so we'll break open a new uh, receiver here. So it comes with two sets of wiring harnesses. And get this out of here. And depending on whether you're using PPM or SBUS, -S um, you'll select a different uh, wiring harness. So the one on the bottom is um, for um, the PPM, it breaks out the channels. 
and I'll use this larger uh, plug and then the socket on top is for your um, S bus and everything else so so that's what we'll be doing and um, unfortunately in my quad I had already um, soldered in all of the wires and so in order to flash the receiver we'll need to get access to the S port uh, wire and let me uh, pull out the scant documentation that's available on this so so what we'll be doing is using the, the S port pin the voltage and the ground and we'll be connecting that to the back of the Tyrannus um, and uh, so we'll have to download the firmware and get that put onto the Tyrannus onto the SD card and then we'll connect we'll connect onto the um, bottom three pins of the um, X7 here so uh, the pin out um, is that the the middle pin of the five is uh, positive the next one is negative and the bottom one is your S port so we'll have to make sure that we have that wired up correctly uh, to the receiver and then we can uh, flash from the X7 transmitter. Alright, so let's get that set up. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the FR Sky R9 Slim receiver for firmware flashing. And the way we're going to do that is we're, is we're going to use the the top um, port or the top socket on the board and on this top socket we have voltage S port, S bus in, S bus out, RSSI out, and ground. So we're just going to be using three wires for this. We're going to be using the voltage, we're going to be using the S port, and we're going to be using the ground. So if you look at the documentation, um, here, here it is right here. Voltage, S port, and ground. So this is this is what we'll be doing. So what will what I will be doing is I'll be using some um, some pin connector sockets. I'll just be crimping them onto the wires here. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, get started on that. Alright, so out. take a look at the the pinout down here. So we have positive, negative, and signal. So we'll set up the plug. Positive negative signal. Turn this over. Okay, so we can't exactly get everything in shot. Alright, so took a, take a look at the the R9 Slim receiver here. And we'll go ahead and Plug in. All right, so so the red, white, and the black wires are the wires that are connected. Voltage, S port, and ground. All right, so let's see. We're all connected there. Let's go ahead and flip over. 
and uh, we can, can we see that? Okay, so let's see if we can see everything at the same time. Let's get this light. Oops. All right. So we have the receiver here. Let's go ahead and power on. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Engine off. Okay, so the receiver powered up. See the red light here? So let's go ahead and get into the firmware page. Long press. Next page. Firmware. R9 Slim 180202. Oops. Oops. Try it again. R9 Slim FCC.FRK. Flash external device. Here we go. Come on. Writing. Alright, okay, so we finished up. Hopefully that is a good thing. <clears throat> Hi, I'm back again and I did a maiden flight with the R9M transmitter and the R9 Slim receiver and I was actually able to get it bound up. So let me go over where my mistake was on this. So the first mistake was when I went in to flash the, the, the module. I accidentally flashed the wrong, um, the wrong module. So don't make the mistake I made. Make sure that when you go to the R9M firmware and you select whichever version that you're going to flash, when it asks you um, where to flash it, you want to select flash external device. And what I did is I flashed my internal module, which killed my um, killed my RF for 2.4 gigahertz. So I wasn't able to do anything there. And of course, I wasn't able to bind because I had the wrong firmware on the external R9M module. So make sure you do flash external device, and that'll go to that. And once you have that flash properly, the light will light up on the back. So let me just go through some of the other gotchas that, that are out there. And it took a little bit of reading and trying to figure out what's going on. But when you look at the instructions for the receiver, this is where you're going to find the instructions for setting up the transmitter. So in the in the instructions, it'll tell you for non-EU version, turn on switch 1 and switch 2 on the 9RM. And then for the EU version, you select no telemetry or telemetry mode on the R9M, then power it while holding the failsafe. I think it's failsafe button. So green LED will be on and red LED will be flashing. Then you connect the battery while holding the bind button. So the important part that I kind of skipped was uh, step number one here. I've got to turn on switch number one and switch number two. So it's so on the back here. Make sure you have switch number one turned on and switch number two turned on. So once I got it flashed to the right firmware, and the switch is turned on properly, then I was able to do a binding session. So, so let me just go through binding this really quickly. And um, let's just start with, I'll start with um, my um, original Martian um, model. And I'll put it at the very end, uh, again, number 13. Throttle warning. Engine off. So now let me just go through and edit this thing. So very quickly, um, I've actually like done this a few times, so I'm pretty good at this now. All right, so 
what you want to do is turn the internal RF off. That's off. External RF mode is set to R9M FCC. Channel range, I'm going to use 1 through 8. And let me see what else I have here. Oh, this mode telemetry, modem telemetry, you have to turn this on if you want to get your telemetry. So make sure you, you turn this on. And then let me go into the bind now. So I'll do channels 1 through 8, telemetry on. Let that start making it sound. I'll hold down the bind button and power this up. Try this once again. I don't know if I got it. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. All right, so we see now. I'll stop that. I'll turn this up. All right, so there we go. We got a green light, and now we're bound. Telemetry lost. I don't know why I'm getting telemetry lost, but in any case, the green light is on. So let me um, power off the. The transmitter. Actually, actually not working. Uh, let me see. Try once again. Okay, red. Welcome to Open TX. Off. There we go. We're bound. So there you go. That's how to bind your FR Sky R9 Slim receiver. All right. Thanks a lot. So that's it. I got my six inch quad set up with the R9M long range system from FR Sky and did my first flight on this. And it was very successful. My very first battery pack was at 10 milliwatts and and I was able to actually get farther away than my 2.4 gigahertz system before I started getting a warning that telemetry was lost or getting a low um, RX signal. So at 10 milliwatts I believe the range is farther and then I bumped it up to 100 milliwatts and was actually able to fly as far as I wanted to within my uh, range of the video. So the limiting factor is now the video and I, I have some antennas that I'll be playing with on that but um, in general I think that the long range setup is the way to go and um, at least on a you know on the six inch long range quads but on the freestyle stuff that you're keeping closer to you you know I think that the regular um, 2.4 gigahertz band is, is adequate. So so that's it. So hope I hope that everybody um, watching this found this helpful. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.